I got an email earlier from Simon in Denmark who's looking for a tool to control the bandwidth from either his file server, his laptop or router, although the router doesn't have any settings to control the bandwidth. And because he's sharing the network, as most of us do, and he thinks that someone else may be torrenting and killing his bandwidth. So he wants to either disable it, monitor it, do something to, to help the situation. So I'm going to try and give you a, a brief overview of the, the possibilities you have here. If anyone out there has any specific suggestions or recommendations for utilities, software, hardware that he could use to solve his problem here, uh, leave a comment or let me know, send me an email, I'll pass on the information to Simon. So, the fact that you've got a server set up is very good, that could come in useful. <clears throat> so I'll start off with monitoring the network usage here. So, the way I see it, you've got two possible ways to do this. You can either install software on this other person's computer, L let's call this other person Jane. I, I don't know why, it should, it should just sound like a Jane. Um, it, so, Jane, um, obviously using her computer. I'm going to assume that you don't have access to her computer. Um, but if you did, you could install some software, or maybe you could ask her to install some software. Um, when I say some software, there are many programs out there which will... Uh, let you monitor and control network usage if you install like a client piece of software on every computer. I've never used any specific ones but I'm sure googling it will help. I'll have a look and possibly link you to some op options that you've got there. Um, but if that's not a feasible option to install software on her computer then the only other way you could probably do it is to direct all of her traffic through your server and monitor it that way. Um, so if you've got a server, um, that's possible. It becomes a bit of a complicated solution to what should be a, a what, well, what is a simple problem, because you need to set up a kind of gateway server, and then. Hopefully your router, even if it doesn't have settings to limit bandwidth, you'll be able to turn off DHCP and then use the server to give out IP addresses and tell each computer which joins the network to use itself as the router instead of the router as the, the router. So, basically you've got a gateway server set up, a computer joins the network, the gateway server gives it an IP and tells it to use itself as the, the router, so the computer tries to connect to the internet, it sends the data, traffic goes through the gateway server, and then that would forward it to the real router from there. I've actually set that up before using Zero Shell, which is a distribution of Linux. I did it in a virtual machine, so you don't need a full computer to set up a solution like that. And the, there are loads of distros of Linux which do the same thing. I think another one is IPCOP might be a popular one. Uh, I've, I've only used Zero Shell before. I don't use it anymore because I, it didn't really help me much. But for your situation, that that's uh, an option to monitor the, the bandwidth. And if you set up a gateway server, or even with the, the software solution installed it on her computer, you could possibly control and limit bandwidth that way. So, you could monitor limited that way. An easier option, if you take a look in your router settings, I'm guessing you've already done so, since you, you're you aware that you can't limit bandwidth there. But for anyone else, it's generally 192.168.0.1 in your address bar, 0 0.2, 1.1 on some routers, with, and if you've never logged in before, the credentials are often on the bottom of the router. So you can log in, get to your router's firmware settings there. Look for QoS or quality of service if it has some feature like that. The idea of that is it prioritizes some traffic over other traffic. So that I think that would be the best solution, but I assume you can't do that because you've already checked. But if anyone else can and you've got a similar situation, what it does is 
Jane, in this case, could torrent all day as much as she likes, but as soon as someone else needs to use the network for something which would be more important, um, your bandwidth and network traffic would be prioritised over hers, and hers would be throttled, so it doesn't affect you. So th that would be a good solution. It's just a shame it doesn't seem like an option for you right now with the route you've got. Of course, you could upgrade your router and get a new one, um, but a, a free solution is always better. So, disabling torrenting, that could also be a challenge, unfortunately. You, if your router has a firewall built in, hopefully it would, um, you can block specific ports, but torrent clients uh, usually have the ability to use different ports, or just use port 80. If you're feeling lucky, you could give it a go. Um, I'm not sure exactly which ports you're going to need to block, but it's, I think it's generally 6881 to 6889. Um, UDP, perhaps. Uh, go, don't quote me on that, but if you go into the firewall, block those ports, see if you can torrent. Chances are, though, if the software is sophisticated at most, are it'll just jump onto another port and use that instead. So, using the router alone to try and block torrenting is probably going to be impossible, but it might work. It depends what software she's using. You could block her from the network altogether if you've got some kind of access control MAC address filtering, but I don't think that is what you want to do either. If you're looking for a piece of software which you install on your computer and then control the rest of the network and monitor what everyone else is doing. You're not going to be able to do that unless you've got some fancy router or switch in involved in the network setup somewhere. Because I'm, some assumptions I've made, you're using a basic no offence, but cheap router, which most of us would get free from an ISP. Um, and nothing else, basically, in terms of network hardware. People may connect with Wi-Fi wired users directly to the router. If that's the setup, you're probably not going to be able to monitor much. The file server, you haven't mentioned what type of server this is. It could be just a, a pre-made thing you bought, which has its own kind of little operating system to make it work. It could be a Windows server, a Linux server. I have a Windows server set up on my network. I run PRTG, which is network monitoring software with a nice graphical user interface. And if you could direct traffic through the Windows server, you could monitor it that way. Um, if you're using Linux, I assume there are very similar things to install. I think, a, if you can, a better option would be to use a specific Linux distro to do the whole thing, as I mentioned earlier. So, hopefully that gives you an idea of what you need to do. Either send all the traffic through the server, if you can turn off DHCP in the router. DHCP um, is just the the thing in the router which gives out the internal IPs to everything that connects it's it, that, that's all it does um, so send it all through the server or install software on her computer if it's just Windows there are loads of free applications which claim to be able to do it if anyone out there has any specific recommendations for software that Simon could use to help his situation here because I know what torrenting does it 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 can be a nightmare. Leave a comment or send me an email jake at jakewright.net and I'll pass on the information to Simon and, and let him know and hopefully we can help him out here.